Hello, hello! Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Improve your technical skills and learn new things with online classes by clicking the link in the description to get a special two month trial of Skillshare. I recently got back from the Scribble, Scribble Showdown, Showdown Tour, Tour, which was doodles of fun, and there were a few times during the VIP Q&As when people asked about our weird dreams, so I thought I'd share some of them today. A lot of my dreams usually end with me either dying, being too confused, or being so frustrated that I wake up. Like that one dream where, for whatever reason, I was looking for a Spider-Man, and this dude came up to me and said he had his contact, so I was like, sweet, take me to him, please, and I drove him around the city thinking he'd lead me to Spider-Man. Eventually, he comes clean and said he lied and didn't actually have it, so then I got pissed and, and woke up. The one I talked about on tour was a recurring dream I'd have where I discovered how to fly and it always took place in the grass field of my elementary school during recess. Okay, so in order to fly in my dream, I'd need to do a running start, and whenever I was ready, I'd jump and then curl into a fetal position as if doing a cannonball into a swimming pool. Once locking this pose, I'd keep my running momentum and continue in whatever trajectory I jumped towards for as long as I wanted. So I wasn't going very fast, but I was flying, and if I wanted to stop, I'd just open up and start falling. If I wanted a slow descent, I'd just need to slightly uncurl, I guess. It was a weird mechanic, okay? I didn't think to try doing it straight upwards, but if I did, I'm sure I'd be able to leave the atmosphere. I also tend to have a lot of dreams that involve DDR. I don't even play DDR that much anymore. There was this one dream where I was playing at a machine in the arcade, but it kept crashing whenever I got to the third and last song. So I was getting pretty upset because it was super lame that it took my credits, but I'd only get to play two songs. And since I only had two songs, I had trouble thinking of which ones to play because I really wanted to make it count. And I was trying to look for one specific song but couldn't find it and I was running out of time and I was getting really stressed like, where is this song? It should be in this category. Uh, okay, organize alphabetically, maybe it's under T? Or does it use its Japanese name in this version? Ah! And then the timer hit zero. It automatically picked a song I didn't like. I started crying. In another dream, I was at a concert and was looking for the DDR machine for some reason. Well, like, why would there be DDR here? What are my priorities? After a bit of walking, I see a glimpse of the screen cabinet of the machine in the distance, past the sea of audience for a concert I should probably be paying attention to. After swimming through the crowds, I get to the machine, but there were no dance pads. I was so upset and yelled so loud that someone, I guess a moderator for this machine, came and tried to help me and said, oh, hang on, let me go get him. Huh, why are they even separated? Surely enough, he returns with the dance pads, except they were the soft dance mats that were meant for home setups. You know, the kind that you could fold and it sucked ass because it was meant to be played without shoes and the sensors were bad so you couldn't really play any hard songs on them. Like, how am I supposed to play Max Unlimited on this? I screeched out of frustration, and then I woke up. In this dream, I was in the supermarket to buy some stuff, but when I tried to pay at the register, the lady said my credit card got declined and told me to swipe again. But I found that weird and noticed at the last second that the machine said robbed confirmed before it restarted. So I called her out on it and said, no, I, I don't want to swipe again. And then she tried to make a run for it, and I was like, what the heck, and called the police on her. When I reported her, I discovered that she was apparently a wanted criminal, and so they sent a whole search squad for her, but for some reason I came along with them, and was part of like, a raid at her hideout. But somehow, I also had lightning powers, so when we finally bust into her base, there was this epic fight between me and her because she had fire powers. And if Avatar has taught me anything, it's that lightning is stronger than fire. So I wrecked her ass. And then the dream kind of transforms where the hideout turns into a hotel unit I'm staying at, which for some reason overlooks a high school where a prom is happening. Then I woke up because it just stopped making sense. Yeah. In this last dream, I was with a friend who I'm not even close with in the real world, but for some reason we lived in the same house. We were talking in the kitchen, I guess, and I noticed she was in a bad mood. I asked, hey, what's wrong? 
and I found out she recently had a fight with her boyfriend. Uh, is it because you're living with another guy? And while we were discussing it, all of a sudden, a person comes into the room and starts trying to kill us. It's not even her boyfriend, it's, it's just some random dude. So we have this weird, gruesome fight around the house. I'm throwing stuff at him like, why are you doing this? We were having a conversation. Eventually, we get into the garage and I tell her to start the car while I hold the door that the murderer is trying to open. But for some reason, there were dummies in the car? Why are there dummies? I don't care, just take them out! She throws them out and I make a run for the car. Start it! Go, go, go! We leave the garage and get to the driveway, but she doesn't check the road before exiting, so we get T-boned and get sent flying. We bounce away and land into a, a pool that's in the neighbor's front yard? Who has one there? So I'm like, fuck, we're stuck. We're dead if we stay. I roll down the window and jump out. I look back and she's still stepping on the pedal and trying to steer as if she can drive out of a pool? I'm fleeing on foot, goodbye. But she's determined and desperate, so she keeps trying to drive and somehow the fucking car actually gets out of the water. Are you kidding me? Okay, I guess I'm the idiot here. So I jump back in and we continue driving away. After about a minute or so, we get rear-ended by another car. It's the murderer! And for some reason, his girlfriend's also with him. So we do this whole fast and furious chase scene, but eventually hit a traffic jam. We're bumping into cars, trying to force them to move out of the way, but the killer couple eventually catches up to us. They pull up beside us on her side of the car, and he sticks his hand out and grabs her face and twists it. And then somehow reaches my face and does the same. And... and then it... it ends? I'm suddenly transported in front of this, uh, this being. Not sure how to describe it, but it was monster-like. Nothing like anything I've ever seen before. W where am I? What is this? And it goes, Wow, that was a good episode. <laughs> what? Apparently, I was in a Black Mirror episode, but I've never watched anything like that in real life. And then the dream transformed into another dream where I was with my college buddies and for some reason we were still in school, architecture school. And there was a project due that day at 7 p.m. And I'm like, Fuck! I gotta go to the office today to work on an animation and then look at a potential cafe property at 5 and I haven't even started the project yet. Eventually I rage quit and was like, wait, what the heck? Why do I need this grade? I'm already working. Like I was aware that I was doing YouTube full time. Like why am I still in school? Why am I here? Why? And then I woke up. Oh hey, do you guys like to learn new things like how to animate? How about improving your creative writing? Maybe learn how to produce music? You might find yourself with the tools to succeed but lack the knowledge to get yourself there. Well then check out Skillshare and its many classes such as this 2D animation for beginners with Adobe Animate by Walt Wonderwoke. As many of you guys know, I didn't go to school for animation. I'm entirely self-taught with the help of online tutorials and mutual animator friends. With Skillshare, you have no excuse to not apply yourselves. By joining Skillshare, you gain access to the thousands of classes in design, business, tech, and more, brought together by its amazing online learning community. With an annual subscription of less than $10 a month, Skillshare is incredibly affordable, especially when compared to those in-person classes and workshops. Learn at home, on your own time, and at your own pace. Here, have a special two-month free trial of Skillshare by clicking the link in the description. Enjoy! Also, this video will be followed by another one later this week where I show you guys my overall process on making an animation. See ya!